Hey gang, welcome to Wildcard Wednesday of the Ladder Games. It's a fun and exciting day where we get to use some things that hopefully nobody else is using. So, not super off the wall, is 80 Acre Farm Country Boy. Now, some of the fun stuff is going to be some first impressions today because we got some new stuff in. So, first impressions of this, I don't know what to call it. It is a wooden handled commissory style shavet. Um, it's got that style on it, which I think is the feather style. And then loaded in there, I've got a uh, Kai Titan Pro Touch MG. The star of the show today is going to be a first impressions on a brush, um, a special brush. This is a Spider-Man edition brush um, that I'll tell the story of in my write-up, um, but we'll have a go with that. haven't used that before. And then our push shave products are going to be Lamplight Pennants from Chatillon Lux and the matching fragrance from Chatty Lux. So we got a uh, synthetic fiber on the Spider-Man brush. I believe it is a 10 millimeter, somewhere around 10 millimeter synthetic fiber. Um, and then it's got the, um, it's formed in the red colors that is uh, common to Spider-Man theme. Um, and then has a Spider-Man logo on there, which is an arachnid. And then we've got some, it's serialized, so you know that uh, that it's legit. So you can see um, that that's the real deal. This is not, a, this is not, a lot of my stuff is fake, but this is actually real. So um, we're loaded up in our trusty Chopentan bowl, and we're going to get lathering here with the Spider-Man brush uh, right away. You know, those these synthetic fibers don't hold a lot of water, um, but you see we get a pretty good splay off of that. It doesn't feel too floppy. Um, the soap is chunking up on me a little bit. Um, but right away, nice, nice splay on that. You can see it's loading up nice and easily. I don't know, it's not really a fan-shaped knot. It's more of a, a mesa or a plateau. Um, not a true fan, but I, I would call this a mesa knot. But right away, the... The 80 acre farm soap base is working up quite nicely. Got a nice fragrance on it, just a clean smell. And we're just slowly adding water to that soap base with our Spider-Man brush and eight millimeter knot. So with a smaller knot like this, it's going to take a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra time to get a lather. I, I, I load loaded heavier than would be necessary for a knot of this size, um, but I still feel like that's going to give us a better lather here. So we're still working that up. Now these fibers aren't. Um, you can see we're getting some nice natural splay out of that. Now just the, the shape um, is starting to work out. It's still a new knot, so it's gonna, you know, it's gonna take a little breaking in. But working up a nice ladder there, good shine. Um, I, I, I might even venture to say that the way that these fibers are designed is it's not aerating the lather so much, but it is hydrating without breaking. And so that may be an advantage. Um, we'll see when we take it to the skin, but we're gonna get a little bit more water going into this thing. See if we can go a little bit heavier with the water. I love the look 
of it though. It's got the, I mean, it almost looks like a toy, you know? So it's really the artisan that made that. I don't know if it was um, Hasbro, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, but the artisan behind the design really went above and beyond with the, to, you know, to really capture that theme of the, the Spider-Man, you know, action figure kind of, it almost looks like it came in a, in a kid's set, you know, rather than a high quality brush. It looks, I don't know, it just really plays the part well. Um, so you can see we're starting to get a pretty good lather worked up there. Not uh, overly aerated. It looks like we're getting some good hydration there. So, so far high marks for the Spider-Man brush. I think we'll, we'll take it to the face and see what we can come up with here. Now with a smaller brush like this, it might, I mean, no problems loading. It right, looks pretty good. So we'll see how it works out and see what kind of levels of scrub and backbone we've got associated with that. It feels pretty good. Um, So it's still a little dry, so it's having trouble splaying out. I'll hydrate that a little bit more. Still pretty dry. So it's got a very low backbone. So if you like a more a brush more on the floppy side, um, this is gonna be something good for you. You can see it's got a decent flow through. We've got some lather that's working its way through those fibers and down onto that handle there. Getting a little bit of a, starting to drip off there a little bit. I think we may be a little on the dry side, but let's give this a shot. Now, it should be interesting because today's challenge is to not use a mirror. And this is the first time I'm using this. So we're gonna have to go by instinct on this. My mirror is this way, so we're just going to go this way here. This blade may be maybe getting a little old. My soap is still on the dry side as well. My hippie neighbors are making noise outside. All right, now we're gonna face the shower curtain here with the brush handle built into it there, see that?
Still pretty mild blade. So I'm going to be happy with a one pass for the uh, in the interest of time because that's what we've been doing this month. So, post shave, we're using Chatty Lux, so we're going to leave the face wet to apply our aftershave. You don't have to go heavy with this one. Got some hair on there. What a great flavor. Flavor? Get that everywhere. That smells great. Give us just a quick shot of that <coughs> because it's nighttime. All right, so <coughs> first impression on this one, eh, I don't know. My soap was uh, way under hydrated. The, the uh, Spider-Man brush, taking a long time to load up, but there it is. The Spider-Man brush, if you, uh, if you like a smaller brush, smaller diameter, not um, synthetic fiber, little a little on the floppy side, low to mid backbone on it, great flow through. Um, the shape is okay, the shape is good. Um, I think it fits the, the idea and the theme behind the brush. Um, and, um, but those synthetic fibers, not holding a lot of water, it can take a little bit of extra time to build a proper lather. As you saw, I still a little bit on the dry side today, but we're okay for a one pass, not bad. And then we had our Chateau Lux Poche products and our 80 acre farm soap. So I hope you enjoyed that first impression and brush review. Um, we will see you again tomorrow.